Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul. You are gonna be seeing quite the haul today. I am going to three stores. I am going to Walmart Grocery Pickup, Fred Meyer, which is also a Kroger store, and to Trader Joe's. I need quite a bit of produce and I love Trader Joe's produce. So you are going to see quite the grocery haul everything I need for this next week, as well as some items that we will be taking camping with us as we head out for the weekend. You'll be seeing this video on Saturday as usual, but it is currently Thursday morning and I'm outside of Fred Meyer just waiting for them to open up and I'm going to head in and start my grocery shopping. So if you want to see what I picked up for the week, as well as what's on my meal plan and what I'm making for meal prep, then just stay tuned. So the first part of my grocery haul is from Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store. In addition to what you see here, I picked up a case of water and a few non-food items, which I will show you after the groceries. So here's what I picked up at Fred Meyer. So first I grabbed a container of low sodium, free range organic chicken broth. This is for an upcoming dinner recipe. I also needed some chunky or grainy mustard, so I picked up the Simple Truth Organic Stone Ground Mustard, and this is for a recipe. Mushrooms, I wanted to have these on hand. I'm going to be making the Skinniest Dish Crock-Pot Marinara because I am out, and I love that marinara. It is zero points. So I wanted to have a jar or two that I added mushrooms to, so I picked up these sliced mushrooms to add to the marinara sauce mozzarella cheese this is just your regular part skim mozzarella mainly my husband eats these but I wanted to show them to you because they are not too bad on points at all so I grabbed a big pack of mozzarella cheese also some egg whites just so that I'm eating a little bit of egg whites and I'm also eating some regular eggs as well so this is the break free 100% liquid egg whites also some light sour cream, just the Kroger brand. I want this for my upcoming recipes. My favorite eggs, the Happy Egg. These were on sale for $4.99, so I picked up a dozen of those. Mission Extra Thin Tortillas. This is for my lunch meal prep, so wait until you guys see what I'm making for lunch. I'm super excited. I also picked up a can of 100% Pure Pumpkin. This is for a dessert type of prep that you guys will see in meal prep. I've made these before. They are so good and incredibly low point. So I picked up the pumpkin for that. Some tribean blend organic from Simple Truth. This is just to have in the pantry. I had a great coupon for this. So it never hurts to just have an extra can of beans in your pantry. And then for the crock pot marinara and a recipe this week, I needed one can of diced tomatoes for the recipe and then two cans of diced tomatoes for the marinara and I always get the no salt added of the diced tomatoes and also I needed three huge cans of crushed tomatoes. If you follow my channel you know that I prefer Hunt's. I think the marinara tastes a million times better with Hunt's than with any other brand or generic brand of tomatoes so it is definitely worth a little bit of extra money for the marinara so of course I picked up three cans of Hunt's crushed tomatoes. Worcestershire sauce, I was about out, so I picked up another bottle. I tend to use this a lot in recipes, so I grabbed that. And this was on sale at Fred Meyer for like $2.50. So if you remember last week in my haul, I grabbed the almond milk uh, creamer. It is not sweet at all, so I ended up having to add sweetener to it. And I thought that these little packets would be a lot easier than a bulk sweetener. So these were on sale for $2.50. And this is Splenda Naturals with Stevia. And what I like about this particular sweetener is... All that's in here is erythritol and stevia leaves. So it is definitely a good natural option for sweetener. So I grabbed that. Big bag of boneless, skinless tilapia fillets. This is for lunch prep. So you can bet that I'm making fish of some sort, but wait until you guys see my recipe. I'm super excited. So a nice big bag of tilapia. I also picked up some jasmine rice. We are about out. So I wanted to grab another package 
of jasmine rice and then i saw this i have never seen this before this is the bird's eye veggie made rice broccoli with cheddar cheese sauce really low smart points only 45 calories for a half of a cup cooked so i thought yum what a great way to get in your veggies and then get that yummy cheese sauce as well you know i love the pastas from bird's eye so i grabbed that to have as a side dish also some i think the rest is produce actually so some frozen veggies i love the flavor pack brand this is the pacific blend snap peas yellow carrots carrots and broccoli i like these vegetables because they are really fresh and they're whole pieces of vegetable really in my opinion the best brand if you can find these in your store is the flavor pack so i picked up pacific blend and riviera blend i love this one this is green beans wax beans and baby carrots super good some cilantro this is for my lunch prep and this is literally the biggest bunch of cilantro i've pretty much ever seen it's huge so i picked up some cilantro grapes were 99 cents a pound so i picked up black and red grapes we're going to take some of these with us camping and then we've been on a cherry kick and again they were a dollar 99 a pound so i picked up some cherries so let me show you the few things that i grabbed that are non-food items so at Fred Meyer, I picked up a few non-food items. So I grabbed some clipboards for my open houses. These are $1.89 a piece, so a really, really good deal. I also grabbed some full sheet neon labels so that I can print what I want on my labels. I was going to add a little fun sticker to my business cards that I can print and cut. Also for mailings, I grabbed the traditional 8160 address labels. I got a new sponge for in the shower and then I picked up this really cute gold pen holder for when I do open houses. This was on clearance for $3.47 so really good deal and then also a little notepad in caddy that was on clearance for $2.57 to put on my desk at work. So those are the few non-food items that I picked up at Fred Meyer. So here's what I picked up from Trader Joe's. Mainly I went to Trader Joe's for produce, but I did pick up a couple of extra things. So for prep this week, I picked up some fat-free crumbled feta cheese. This is going to be part of what I am making for breakfast meal prep. I also grabbed some on the vine tomatoes. My husband wants BLTs for lunch, so I needed quite a few tomatoes for that and some upcoming recipes. Two sweet onions. A pineapple, I'm excited I am making a Mexican fruit salad for part of my lunch, so wait till you guys see that recipe. So I grabbed a pineapple for that. And of course, what shopping trip does not include something for my dogs? So of course, I picked up the Trader Joe's grain-free peanut butter and banana dog treats. For breakfast prep, I also needed some sun-dried tomatoes, so I grabbed those. A red pepper, a red onion, lemon, and two limes. For that salad, that Mexican fruit salad, I needed a mango and a papaya. Really excited about that, I cannot wait. And then I needed some asparagus for a side dish as well as an upcoming recipe. Fresh basil, Trader Joe's has the best price. This entire container was about $2.50 at Trader Joe's. Also for that fruit salad, I needed a watermelon. I grabbed a bag of shredded green cabbage another bag of the organic shredded mozzarella this is a substitute for the trader joe's light mozzarella now this one is two smart points per ounce and the trader joe's light was one but this cheese is really 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 good so it's a little expensive 4.99 a bag but if you want to just have a substitute for that light shredded until it returns next year this is actually a really good alternative Brussels sprouts. This is for a dinner recipe. We are going to be cooking these on the grill. So definitely stay tuned for that. Just a head of lettuce for BLTs for my husband. And then lastly, to go camping, I grabbed a bag of the Trader Joe's baked cheese crunchies. You can have a ton of these for the smart points and these are super delicious. So I'm going to take those with us camping. So that is everything that I picked up at Trader Joe's. And lastly is my super small Walmart haul. Over there, if you can see, I have some Diet Coke and Coke Zero Orange Vanilla. And I also picked up a case of beer for my husband for camping. And two cans of my all-time favorite no sugar added cherry pie filling. 
I love these. Now the apple pie filling I got from Nutrition is good, but I prefer the cherry to be completely honest. So these were on sale for $1.78 a can. Great for dessert. Also a couple more clipboards for open houses, just the small ones. This is my clipboard. I love this. So it definitely has the clipboard, but it also has a pocket and a notepad. So this is just going to be really nice to have with me when I'm going to open houses or showing homes to clients. So excited to have that and it's cute. It has notes embossed on it. And then for my open house, I grabbed some pens. So that's it guys. And let's get into this week's meal prep and plan. So let's talk about what's on the agenda for meals this week. So this is my Carriel meal planner. You guys know I love my meal planner so much. It is so comprehensive. It's beautiful. So it has all these fun quotes that just make me happy customizable. It has tons of tabs that allow you to really just track everything and plan everything, which makes your journey so much easier if you have everything planned and at your fingertips. So there's a resources tab, just allows you to track your favorite meal planning blogs and recipes. I will also write down my favorite recipes in this section as well. And there's quite a few pages for that. There's some measurement conversions, which makes that a really easy thing to take a glance at if you're trying to figure out your measurements. There is inventory for your freezer, your fridge, your spices, and your pantry, so you can inventory what you have on hand. We'll come back to the meal plans tab, and then there is also a tab called gatherings, and that tab allows you to plan a gathering, so any type of event that you are hosting at your home. You can list out what you're planning to make for dinner. And then there is a detachable grocery list as well. So it's everything you need to plan your events. And lastly, before we go into our meal plan is the notes tab. And that is just where you can take notes. So sometimes I'll jot down recipes that I'm interested in making and I don't have them printed off or screenshotted. I'll just jot them down really quick. So that is all of those pieces. And now let's move into meal plans. So what I love, let's just go to our current month here. So what I love about the meal planner is there is an at a glance monthly meal planner. As you can see, I use this every single week. It allows me to know what is on the menu for the following day. I can make sure that I've taken my meat out of the freezer and I can also double check and make sure that I have all of the ingredients on hand that I need for those meals so that I know if I need to stop at the store. It just makes it easy for when you go to prepare your meal to know that you have what you need on hand. So that is the monthly meal planner. And then each week, there is a weekly menu. So you can list out what is on your menu for the entire week by date. And then of course, there is a detachable grocery list. I use that every single week to do my grocery shopping. So I love my planner. You can see that I have loved it and used the heck out of it. This is all completed meal plans. And I also like that you can go back to previous weeks and see what you ate. And if it was a recipe that you know that you really enjoyed, you can make that recipe again. So it just is very comprehensive, makes staying on track and planning a breeze. So for this week, my week starts on Saturday and goes through Friday. So Saturday I will be making, or tonight I'll be making skinny orange chicken. And this is a recipe that I didn't make previously. So I had all the ingredients on hand and it sounds amazing. So I definitely wanna make it. So I'm gonna be doing the skinny orange chicken, rice and vegetables. Now Sunday, I'm going to be doing a couple of open houses. So I will be on the road at dinner time. So I'm gonna have some fast food and I'm gonna take you guys along with me, of course, on what I'm eating on Sunday. So you'll get to see what I make as far as a food choice. Monday, I'm gonna be making steak fajita roll-ups. This is a recipe I didn't make last week. So it rolled over to this week and I'm gonna pair that with some veggies. And this, you guys, is a low carb recipe. So there is a low carb series coming to my channel. So stay tuned for that. On Tuesday, I'm going to be making country captain chicken with potatoes and vegetables. Really excited about this recipe. This is an instant pot recipe. And then Wednesday in on the barbecue, we're gonna be doing some bruschetta chicken with those grilled Brussels sprouts. Really excited about that as well. And then Thursday and Friday is always generally leftover nights. And then for meal prep this week, for breakfast, I'm gonna be having breakfast burritos. I can't wait to share my recipe with you guys. Little non-traditional breakfast burrito recipe, but it sounds really good. And we're just gonna pair that with some fruit. 
For lunch, I'm gonna be making fish tacos, which is something I've never meal prepped before, something I'm really excited about, and I'm also going to be making a Mexican fruit salad. So a little bit of a spin on a traditional fruit salad, and then I'm gonna be making the Jamie Eason pumpkin bars. These are incredible, and they are huge for the smart point. So definitely a hearty, whole food dessert. So stay tuned for that. So that is what is on my meal plan and my meal prep for the week. This is my Carriel meal planner. I do have a code for 10% off if you're interested in one of the meal planners. It is here on the screen. Click the link, enter the code down in the description box and you'll get 10% off of your meal planner. Thank you for joining me for another weekly WW grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I picked up from all three stores. And stay tuned for to come along on a camping vlog that should be uploaded on Sunday for you guys. So you'll see this Saturday. That should be up on Sunday. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm going to take you with me on our camping trip this weekend where you'll see us eat a lot of the food that we've picked up over the last couple of weeks. So if you're new to my channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll just get a little message every time I upload so you don't miss a single video please thumbs up this one and comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this week's grocery haul and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.